Outbound is definitely changed, but it's certainly not dead. What's dead is buying tools, data, and hiring a bunch of reps, deploying a canned templated playbook that everyone has used for years, putting those into those robo spam tools and hoping things for success. Instead, there's a different way to think about outbound and it really comes down to what we consider are the main pillars for success. The first is hyper-targeting. It's not spray and pray, it's quality over quantity. It's using things like intent, triggers, data at our fingertips to inform who we should be targeting and how to engage them at the right time to, to get longer term success. This is super key. It's about channel validation so that we don't spend uh, a bunch of cycles and resources uh, doing activities that will never result in what's the next thing here, pillar two. It's conversations. Again, it's not about activities. It's about being ready and prepared to deliver a meaningful two-way conversation. How do we go away from spray and pray, robo spam, generic messaging to, okay, I know I can reach these folks. How do I engage in a two-way conversation that actually allows us to be a differentiated value added resource in this process? Going away from connecting and pitching, moving towards understanding where they're at in this journey. Is it a problem? Is it an opportunity? Is there a threat? Is there something they're not aware of? Is there education? How can we start that and establish that two-way conversation? The third is how do we deploy and use the SDRs in a more meaningful way? Yes, the old way of enabling an SDR to do robo spamming is dead. You can't reverse an en engineer an MQL via outbound. That's not going to work. But how do we deploy our SDRs in the right way? Use the personalities that they're good at to deploy great phone conversations, to write good email copy, to become brand influencers on social media and, and bring that all together in such a way that again, is helping our customers get into the conversation and learn or identify opportunities or reduce risk along the way. Finally, it's about really trying to understand that in this global world, we've got to be able to reach our buyers where they're at and in a different way than we were used to. People's schedules are more busy than ever. Calling, setting meetings, going through qualification, getting there, going through demos has really changed. We're going to have to figure out a way to, again, how do we establish the two-way conversations? How do we meet our buyers where they're at in the journey and start to use things like video and follow-up material to drive people through that conversation before they're ready to actually sit down and go through an official sales process. It's much more about being buyer centric these days and meeting them where they're at. And finally, we've got to think about this in the lens of not outbound or inbound, but all bound. Everything's about generating demand and it all starts with getting the people that you want to be engaging with the list into uh, the right stage of your journey. So regardless of the mechanism, the delivery mechanism is content that drives somebody to your website or an outbound call that then allows somebody to be aware of that content. How do we think about what content should we be creating in the first place that delivers the right information necessary for somebody who is in this stage of understanding how to solve a problem, not being aware of an opportunity that exists in the market that they're missing out on, not being aware of a threat or a risk that they should be aware of, or how do we educate somebody on something around all of these things and, and do that where they are? So inbound outbound is not about one or the other. It's about this inbound cohesive approach to what we call modern outbound process. So these are the pillars that we consider to be successful out with the canned plug and spray, plug and play, spray and pray, hopium strategy and end with a in with a more hyper targeted focus conversation first buyer centric customer journey deploying the right assets in the right place to ensure that we are meeting our clients and customers where they're at and delighting them along the way <laughs>